But I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to go to mother f***ing core. Core. You're not going to take a symbol of happiness and acceptance and, and multiculturalism and turn it into something racist and anti-Semitic and homophobic and transphobic. <laughs> You're not going to do that on my watch. You're not. So Pepe, he belongs to me now. Oh. Pepe the, fo the frog the with his curly you. ass Afro clown wig belongs to me. That is a symbol of the resistance now. I encourage you all to share. I'm going to Photoshop a picture of Pepe with the with just tons of pro LGBTQ symbols and pro black symbols and 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 we are taking Pepe back. I'm really not even sure how to how to properly characterize this other than Trump derangement syndrome and beyond because the left has gone into a complete fit of lunacy. And so the story comes from my favorite left-wing commentator Jared Holt. Right white nationalists adopt clown as their next racist symbol. These people actually think they're in our head. Uh, there's been so many different forms of Pepe put out there. There's like Trump Pepe's, like Arnold Schwarzenegger Pepe's, thinking man Pepe's. It's just like you just make all these Pepe's. It just became this kind of like infinite meme. And so one of them has been Pepe in like a clown mask or Pepe in a rainbow wig. It's been going on for years, but somehow this is now our new thing. And here, but But here's what happens. The left thinks they have conservatives figured out, and, and they're so far off base. I mean, they need a map and a key, and it's just like they still can't figure out where the hell we are. They can't even understand the language they, that we're speaking. But they still need to provide commentary on it and act intellectual. So what they do is they pretend like they know what they're thinking, and then they project what they think we're doing with a, a, a clown Pepe when it's totally off base. But then we roll with it out of just because it's a joke how out of touch with reality they are. And so then it becomes this weird, like, fake self-fulfilling prophecy that they then think is real, but because they don't understand meme language, they don't understand that they're a continual, infinite loop of perpetual memes. And so, yeah, you think we're taking some clown symbol as, like, our next symbol, even though that's, like, way out of left field, totally inaccurate. Now we will. But you're only giving us more ammo to meme on. Here is a video. Uh, folks, uh, television audience, you'll see this. Uh, radio audience, it's, it's a woman. She's got weird hair. I don't even know how to explain it. Weird clown makeup on. And, and now she's going to war for the clown Pepe meme. I'm pissed off and I'm angry and I'm disgusted and I made a video ranting about it, but I don't even think I want to post it because I don't want to give them that much attention. We'll see what, where it goes. You know, I'll, I'll keep the video on ice and we'll, we'll just see how far they want to take this, but I'm ready, to to right I'm ready to go to war. ready. Look, lady, do you know how insane you are? First, you do a rant on first, first you paint your face up like Pennywise the clown to do a rant. Then you do the rant on video and you don't even publish it. So it's quote unquote on ice. And then you do a follow up rant in a clown outfit, in a clown makeup outfit that you put on for this rant about clowns that is literally concocted in your own mind that conservatives are using clown memes for some agenda. It's all in your mind. And now because of that, you've now painted your face like a clown. You've done a video rant that you have on ice. And then you do a follow-up video that you think is going to somehow be a victory. Go ahead. But I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to go to mother f***ing core. Wait, core? You're not going to take a symbol of hold happiness. Hold on, can you rewind that? Just hold on, pause that. Rewind that back 10 seconds. Did she say she wants to go to core? What is core? Hold on, hold on, go ahead. I'll, I'll keep the video on ice and we'll, we'll just see how far they want to take this, but I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to go to mother f***ing core. Core. You're not going to take a symbol of happiness and acceptance and, and multiculturalism and turn it into something racist and anti-Semitic and homophobic and transphobic. <laughs> You're not going to do that on my watch. You're not. So Pepe... He belongs to me now. Oh. Pepe the, f the frog the with his curly you. ass Afro clown wig belongs to me. That is a symbol of the resistance now.
I encourage you all to share. I'm going to Photoshop a picture of Pepe with the with just tons of pro LGBTQ symbols and pro black symbols and 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 we are taking Pepe back. He's mine. I'm adopting him. I'm saving him from these freaks, these degenerates who think that it's okay to take a symbol of of happiness and and just this it's disgusting. It literally, it's sickening. It's sickening that people would take such a positive thing like clowns and try to make it into a symbol for your racism. You're pathetic. The clown emoji belongs to us, the Lunchables. Pepe the Frog, the clown version, and just him in general, honestly, because he's been through a lot. He belongs to us, the Lunchables. You thought, you really thought, you neck beard Cheeto dust butt sniffing fart sniffing oh, living with it. your mother no, father stop it oh oh my god <laughs> please please rewind this please rewind this rewind this 15 seconds I'm sorry I'm trying to hold back my laughter this is too this can't be real this has to be a conservative troll right I mean this cannot be real please roll it one more time you thought you really thought you neck beard Cheeto dust <laughs> butt sniffing fart sniffing living with your mother father grandma I don't care you fucking ass I have adopted Pepe and he's mine they want to oh we're gonna put the symbol out there you put it out there well guess what I grabbed his ass and now he's mine you cannot take this from me I will not let you Wow. Clowns are a symbol of happiness and acceptance. And like I said, multiculturalism, we embrace everybody. We embrace you, whether you're black. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, uh, news update. Pepe's a fictional character. Okay. So I don't know how you plan on grabbing and adopting Pepe. Uh, and it was Pennywise the clown. If anybody's demonized the happy symbol of a clown, it was Stephen King and Pennywise and all the movies with it. And then she's like, clowns are supposed to be a symbol of happiness and fun. You're the one that's so angry in the video. We're having fun with it. You're the one that's angry. But where does it go from here? Because she's ready to go to whore over this. She's ready to go to whore over Pepe the Clown meme. It's incredible. We're fighting back and we're winning thanks to you. I got some good news for you folks, but some bad news for the globalists. I've got good news for the people of America and the people of the world. Trump has been totally exonerated from the entire Russia gate attempted coup d'etat takedown. And now he's going on the offense with the big executive order of a week ago that targets universities that are public that violate the First Amendment. And now he summoned the head of Google just yesterday to let Sundar know that his treason by selling us out to China and censoring the American people and meddling in our elections will not stand. And Trump said the meeting went well. And the word is Apple and Facebook and Twitter, they're all being talked to by the president over the telephone and private meetings are being set up where he's gonna lay down the law that they're not gonna side with authoritarian foreign powers and that they're going to uh, either abide by the constitution and bill of rights and not be authoritarians or he's gonna take action against them. That is everything we've needed to hear. Now let's make sure the president follows through. Now, InfoWars, as you know, is seen by the enemy as the tip of the spear, because we are, because of you, the supporters, and our message of liberty. We're rebooting America in 1776 worldwide. And we've had a special running for about a week and a half, Save the First Amendment, 1776, super sale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last few days of the sale. Some of our best-selling items have sold out. Others are close to selling out. We've got to end the sale coming up early next week. It only leaves four or five days left in this super sale at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. Get store-wide free shipping and 50 to 60% off all these best-selling items and fund the InfoWar all at the same time, a total 360 win. The Save the First Amendment super sale at InfoWarsStore.com with only a few days left.